What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 38 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I have for you guys the Champions League Champions Playoff round. This is the last round before the group stage. We're taking on Dynamo Zagreb. We've been punching above our weight the last two fixtures against Tel Aviv and Apoel. Today, I mean, this is a whole nother level. Zagreb, best team by a mile. Well, I say the best team by a mile. I know I have a lot of Croatian viewers, so I don't want to say that. But they are one of the better teams in the region. They have some very good players. It's going to be hard, but we're going to give it our absolute all. If we just have a quick flick through their team, you get an idea of how good some of their players are. They have got a fair few virtual players, but their first team is made up of some incredibly talented players. And it's not going to be an easy game here today. So anyway, let's get into this match. Obviously, it's only been two weeks since the last episode. It's been a very long pre-season here, but um, this will probably be the last games unless there's Europa League games. I've not looked into the exact details of what happens if we uh, get knocked out of the, at this round if we go into the Europa League. I've kind of not thought about it, really. I've just wanted to get this game over and done with. In terms of changes, just one, Lee Robson out injured. Real miss for us, pulled hamstring. Uh, Hernandez comes into the side at right mid. Hopefully he can put in a good game there for us, Anthony. Um, but all in all, I mean, our team is punching above its weight. We're sticking with the 4-4-2 counter. I kind of smile a little bit when I look through this team because I think of players like Glenn Gilbert, Guerrero and Hernandez, and they've been here since we started in the, in the Segunda division. And for some of those players to be one game away from playing in the Champions League group stage is just a little bit mad. But anyway, this is going to be super, super hard. Worth noting that we are away from home here for the first leg. So I am kind of looking for us to get an away goal if we can and hopefully kind of defend as well as we can. I am going to play, I think, on defensive rather than counter with our kind of uh, more defensive system. I kind of want us just to defend as best we can in this first leg, try and break them down. If we can hit them on the break and get a goal, absolutely fantastic. But primarily we've got to focus uh, on not conceding here. But with the talent Zagreb have going forward, that is not going to be easy. Anyway, 23 minutes gone. Looking at the stats, they've been all over us. But at the moment, they've not had a clear-cut chance. And actually, we are the team with the ball here. Connolly looking for Murray. Intercepted. And now we're caught a little bit high up the pitch. Pacheco going to run forward. But tackled by Holmes. And now can we find a chance? Connolly is looking for the run of Murray, who isn't going to be there. But Hernandez keeps it in. Gary Tano. Hernandez is there. Murray threaded through. Hits it. Hits the woodwork, I think. And the save could not be made. And that was a decent chance for us. It wasn't a clear-cut chance. But it was a chance and we've not taken it there. And unfortunately for us, corner is not going to beat the first man. And Well, we've had an opportunity there. We've limited Zagreb early on though. 30 minutes gone, 40 minutes gone even. And it looks like at half time, unless there's a very late goal here, it's going to be nil-nil. And that is a very, very good performance so far. I'm going to tell the players they've been unlucky so far. I'll try and motivate them as best I can. I don't want us to get too complacent out there. I expect Zagreb to start throwing more and, men, more, and more men forward. Maybe even chuck a kitchen sink at us uh, by the end of the half. But, I mean, looking at the stats, they've had shots, but they've only had the one on target. And this has kind of been a pattern in a lot of these Champions League games we've had. We've really limited the opposition, and then when we've had chances, we've taken them. Although, they are on the attack here, and Glenn Gilbert, straight from kickoff, going to give them a penalty. And it's now going to be down to Benevente from the spot. Can Felix work some magic? He goes the right way. He can't stop it. And after an absolutely superb first half, we give Zagreb an easy goal. We gift it to them, a penalty. And it goes in, and now there's certainly a real emphasis, I guess, on us getting an away goal if we can. Because otherwise, going into the second leg, I mean, if we concede one goal, we're going to need three goals. And it's going to be a mammoth task from there. We need to get that away goal. We're going to switch to counter to try and get it. If we get to kind of the 65th minute, I'm probably going to switch to our 4-4-2 attack. I kind of feel like we need to do that. Let's do it now. We've got to go for this game. Uh, Murray injured, so we'll do a change there and bring on Peachman. Hernandez also struggling for fitness, but I've really not got an alternative to him, unfortunately. So we'll just hope he can hold on. Gary Tano also struggling quite badly. We're going to take him off for Tristan Sargent. I really can't afford for Gary Tano to get injured. I mean, 1-0 wouldn't be the worst result by any means in this first leg. To go away from home to Zagreb is never easy. And we've not performed badly here. It's not been an entertaining game, but it looks like we are going to hold out here unless there's a late, late goal. Please just clear this away. Glenn Gilbert clears it away. I mean, we've not had a shot on target there, but we've put up a big brick wall and we've actually dealt with them fairly well there. 
It's going to finish 1-0. We've put in a spirited performance. We were expected to get hammered. Can't complain what a little bit. We give ourselves a chance going into the second lag. Hopefully you guys will stick around. I will be back in just a second. And who knows, maybe we can make some magic happen here in the Champions League. Okay guys, we are back here for the second leg against Dynamo Zagreb. I feel like we did ourselves some justice in that last kind of leg. Only losing 1-0 isn't too bad. Does put us in a pretty bad situation here though. Going into this second leg, um, being a goal down, not having an away goal in our favour. I mean, it could be a lot, lot better for us. In terms of the team for today's game, part of me wants to change our 4-4-2 counter slightly to maybe help us try to... I don't, I don't know. I feel like we need a little bit more in the midfield. They are playing a 4-2-3-1, or at least they did last game in the predicted lineup. I just saw was that two. I know the predicted lineup is sometimes a lie, but I don't know. I part of me really wants to try and defend this lead a little bit better than we have been, and I think I'm going to make some changes as a result. So we're going to bear with me here. I think we're going to try something like this. We're going to try and hit them on the break. And we're going to try and hit them on the counter and see what we can do. I think I'm going to want Roberts to just play as this kind of anchor man. Although defensive midfielder defend probably would be the best choice. And then that gives Sutton a little bit more ability to play as a supporting centre mid. But yeah, I'm thinking something like this is probably the way to go. Um, in terms of the instructions, exploiting the flanks probably isn't the way to go here. We, we need to try and do something. I want us to close down more. I want us to play a bit more balanced. At a higher tempo with our direct passing. But yeah, I mean, we've we've got to change something here. I think the fact that... I, I don't know. I feel like the fact that we're a goal down puts us in a bit of an odd situation. Because we really can't afford to concede in this game. And we need a goal. Which, I mean, those two issues together, they kind of contradict one another. We'll go into this game. We are really outside favourites with Skybet. They have lined up with the formation I kind of anticipated them to play. So we will see how we get on here. I'm going to tell the players that I know that we're underdogs, but you know if we could give a good performance, that would be absolutely ideal. I'm going to tell them I have faith in them all as well. Good, Fairly good, I guess, response there from the team talk. But we will see what we can do here. As I mentioned, we can't afford to concede first. The lack of an away goal really is going to hurt us here. We're still on counter-attack to begin with. It's a little bit odd for me to completely change my system, but I kind of feel pressured into doing that. So we'll see how we get on with it. But anyway, 20 minutes gone here. We've not conceded. That's got to be something, right? Dynamo Zagreb only with one shot on target as well. So at least on the face of it, we're defending okay here. Although, I mean, as I say that, I jinx it and there's a highlight. Unless it's a goal for us, I don't really want to see this. And it's going to be with Benevente down the middle. And you can see kind of with this more defensive shape in midfield, we have got a few more players back. Although we are a bit short here. And Glenn Gilbert going to go flying in with a tackle. Misses Salvador. And we're let off the hook just a little bit there. Looking at these stats, I mean, we're not having a lot of the ball at all. Part of me wants to switch to defensive. And I think I am going to do that here. Uh, just to ensure we get as many men back as we need to. But... Looking at the stats, if we can get to half time at 0 0, it's not the worst situation in the world. As I mentioned, we really can't afford to concede in this game. A goal against us puts us in trouble. And um, there is a chance here, actually, Zagreb bringing the ball forward potentially. Carabiner, it goes all the way back to their goalkeeper. I mean, they've only had three shots on target, but they have had a few recently. And if they score now, it really would hurt us. If they score, we will need three goals scored our way, which I know we're at home. I know there's home advantage in that, but. I, I don't know, that would be a mountain to climb. And Salvador running down the right. Fantastic play. Felix with an amazing double save. That is absolutely incredible by the young goalkeeper. And he might just keep us in this game going into half time. That was an absolutely insane save by him there. And all in all, um, that's an okay first half. I'm going to tell the players they've been unlucky so far. They've absolutely loved that as well. They look relaxed and motivated. As I said, we need a goal. We need a goal from somewhere. But we've given ourselves a chance here, I guess, early on uh, with how we've done here. I'm going to change the site system just ever so slightly. I kind of feel like we have to commit maybe a few men higher up the pitch. I want to try something as well. I'm going to swap Hernandez and O'Connor around and switch them to inside forwards. And actually, the reason I'm going to do this is because, uh, well, first and foremost, they're they're good players and they can play either of these positions, but also because O'Connor is left-footed, Hernandez is right-footed, and they can both play on either wing. 
So it kind of gives us an option to switch them over like so. Unfortunately for us, Roberts really is struggling with his match fitness. I'm going to keep playing him regardless, but that's something to perhaps keep an eye out on. But with 45 minutes gone, we're in an okay situation at the moment, but we do need to defend this set piece here. Pacheco shoots Felix, another insane save by him. Dynamo Zagreb, they're throwing the kitchen sink at us, but they've not broken our window. And now they've hit the crossbar, and we've managed to clear it. This is turning into a little bit of a, a worrying affair, I guess you could say. They really are throwing men forward and committing, well, a lot of men into this attack. And at the moment, we're holding on somehow. But they are going to come forward again here. 60 second minute, Salvador Carabina is going to score for them. He's going to make it 1-0 on the night. And that is going to make it 2-0 on aggregate. And after a great first half of defending, unfortunately for us, we have just cracked here against Dynamo Zagreb. Gabriel with the ball across to Salvador, passes it through to Carabina. And Carabina just places it in. Felix cannot make the save this time, cannot bail us out. And uh, Zagreb are going to take that early lead here and put us in a pretty bad situation. Maybe we can bounce back here. That's going to be the real challenge, I think. Ball whipped in. Pacheco hits the post. Cleared away by Glenn Gilbert as well. And with 25 minutes left, well, we, we, need, we need a lot of goals. We need... How many goals? We need a lot. We need... A lot is the technical term we're going to go with here. I believe we're going to need... Well, we are going to need three goals here. To stand any chance. Hernandez is struggling for fitness. I really don't have the options here. Uh, I'm going to bring on Griffo to play on the uh, left wing. I think that's going to be the solution to that problem. Robert struggling and is booked. So we're going to take him off as well for Tristan Sargent. But yeah, we need three goals in the last 20 minutes. I really can't see it happening. We've got to start committing men forward. Zagreb on the attack here. Pacheco to Marco out wide to Sabol Sabolovic. I hope I said that guy's name right. It gets cleared, but only so far. And the ball is now coming back our way again. Gabriel, two men on one there. Rog, Pacheco, shoots. Felix with another good save there. And um, I think Felix deserves the Man of the Match award at the moment. I don't know how this is still won. At least put in a superb performance here. Set piece, hits the crossbar. I think Felix saved it as well. He's had 12 shots on target so far against him. Only one of them has gone in. That is not a bad return. They could get a penalty here, although we don't give it away. Now can Connolly break away? 73rd minute. We need a miracle, in case that wasn't obvious. We really need we need perhaps the greatest FM comeback ever seen by anyone ever. And I don't think we can get it, if I'm honest. If I'm, if I'm being realistic with myself, I'm going to change a few more of our players to attack. And also go a little bit more direct because that is what we've got to do here. I want us to hit early crosses, go route one, close down as much as possible and go for it. And we've actually scored whilst I make these tactical changes. I don't want to get too excited, but Gary Tano has just scored in the 75th minute. It's 1-1 on the night. We still need two more goals. But part of me wants to believe that there might be a comeback on the cards. How did this go in? Connolly, Gary Tano with the run on ahead. Lovely stuff by him and a nice little finish. That is lovely, right? Team talk. Show some passion. I want the players to show some love, to show some energy. Ten minutes left of this game. We're at home. Let's change Gary Tano to a shadow striker. We might as well try everything at this point. Let's just commit as many men forward as we can. Overload. Get the ball into the box. Let's see what we can do here. Unfortunately for us, time slipping away. It looks like we might get a 1-1 draw on the night, but unfortunately that is simply put not going to be enough on aggregate. There might even be a chance for them to score here from the corner. Salvador, it's a penalty that's been given. Um, well, it's game over now. Zagreb have a chance to put anything beyond doubt here. Salvador stepping up for the penalty. The number 11 for them. On his right peg, can he score? He can. Felix cannot come to our rescue again. Zagreb going to win this game 3-1 on aggregate. Really, I mean, it's unfortunate. It's not been a bad performance over the two legs. It's been a pretty resilient display. Against these professional teams as a semi-pro team, it's always going to be hard. But we've really gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some bigger teams uh, in this qualifying kind of stage, I guess, against Apoel, against Tel Aviv, against um, Zagreb here. And at the end of the day, to knock out, be knocked out at Zagreb, like that is nothing to be ashamed of. That is a fantastic display. That is better than I thought we were going to do in this competition this year. It's disappointing to go tumbling out just before 
um, the Champions League group stage, but we will get £2.14 million for that result. We also get some TV money as well. I mean, we can't really complain. That is significant money the club has now got. Our balance sits at £3.7 million. It has more than doubled with that money, and that is fantastic, and that is going to push us ever so closer to potentially going professional in the next few years. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap things up from me. A bit of a bitter pill to swallow in the end. As I said, I'm not sure now if we go into the UEFA Cup or not. Part of me doesn't think we do, although actually, no, we do. We are in the Europa League still, so that's something to look forward to. I assume we will be in the group stage of that, although I really can't be certain. I guess we'll be back once we know what our fate is there. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the like button. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.